Family Chef Jeffrey back for another video. Road trip. All right, now we're on the road, but we're going to be on a water trip. Yes, you know, you've been following me long enough. We headed on the cruise. Let's cruise away. I don't have my microphone on right now, y'all. That's why I'm yelling. Why are you yelling in the thing? I don't have a mic on right now. I won't put my mic on until later today. So the first three or four segments like now, it's going to be yelling. Get, get used to it. But anyway, like I was saying, y'all, I'm on the way to G-Town, Galveston. We call it G-Town here in the Houston area. I'm just leaving out of Katy. I'm on South Houston Tollway. I'm going to take 45. And right now, I don't want to jinx it, but it's like it's smooth sailing. No pun intended uh, for right now. So it should be about a 45-minute drive from right where I am right now. So I should get into Galveston by 10 o'clock this morning. My check-in is 12 to 12.30. My plan is, I'm not a rookie no more, let me say that. Last year I was a rookie, I was learning on the job here, but I'm, I took a lot of notes, what to do, what not to do, what to take, da da da. So it's gonna be a better video than it was last year. But anyway, my plan is to get in the island by 10 o'clock, drop, drop my luggage off as soon as I get there. As soon as you drop your luggage off, the sooner you get to your stateroom, y'all. That's a little tip there I learned from my all time uh, uh, cruiser. So I'm going to drop it off at 10 o'clock. I'm going to go and probably give you something to eat. And then go drop off my vehicle around 11.30. Which is right across the street from the Carnival Breeze. That's why I'm riding on today. Uh, the breeze. That's why I'm cruising on today. So that's the plan. I'll take y'all through the whole process. A lot of people don't know. And a lot of people. That's how I learn a lot of stuff about YouTube, y'all. How to drop your luggage, what to do, what not to do, and things like that. But my plan is to get there at 10 o'clock. I don't check in to 12 to 12 30. I like to check in late. I don't know why people like to check in early and just sit on the chip and wait till they uh -huh. I learned that last year and didn't even know I'm going to check in late as possible. So when I get on this ship, I drop my luggage off early, but I'll check in late as possible. 12 12 30 is late enough. And then once I get on the ship, I don't have to wait maybe one hour. And then the stateroom is ready. I don't have to, I mean, I'm not going to really starve, and I'm not going to get in no long lines, because all the buffet lines going to be long. Everybody want to be eating stuff like that. So the plan is, like I say, drop my luggage off at 10, go hang around the island, get, find me something to eat, get back, drop my car by 11.30, and they'll, you know, it'll take me, what, 10 minutes to get across the street. They'll drop me off and shuttle. And I'll get in line by 12 o'clock. And uh, check in, go to the check in. I'll be on the ship by 12:30. That's the thing. That's the plan. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back once we get on the island. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are almost on the island. Once we get over the causeway here, and I told y'all I was gonna be in Galveston at 10 a.m. What's the tip? What's the time? Uh, we're looking at 9:52. 9.52 a.m. I know how to get to Galveston. I've been, I did my route many, many times. As long as there's no accident, it takes me about 45 minutes from Katy to Galveston. All you gotta do, if you're coming from, if y'all not from this area, you coming from like Austin, San Antonio area, hop on the Sam Houston Tollway, take it south, and go all the way to hit 45, you'll go around all that traffic, all the interchanges, you won't have to deal with the 59 interchange, 16 interchange, none of that. You don't deal with any interchange. You know every city, the interchange, that's where all the traffic back up at. When people going off, coming on, exiting and all that, you gotta merge and all that. You miss all of that. So if you got a toll pass, I suggest doing that. And it's smooth sailing all the way. You leave after nine o'clock, after rush hour traffic's over, it's so, so, so easy. So yeah, I'm going over the causeway now. And I'm gonna exit Harborside Drive, I don't need GPS. I know, even though last year was my first cruise, I know the cruise ship where it says, but I go to the best seafood restaurant here over there off, uh, which is Katie Seafood. And they have the best crab cakes over there. And I've been to a cruise, I used to go over there and just, and, and it'd be a norm at the size of the cruise ships and stuff like that, so. Yeah, so we're going to exit right here, get Harbershaw Drive, go down there, and uh, I'll hit y'all back when we get there, and uh, we get to the cruise ship, and I uh, drop my, she's Harbershaw Drive, Harborside Drive, y'all, that's where you exit right there, and you just go down, take you right to the cruise ship, right to the crew port, 
Yeah, so anyway, I'll be there when we get to the cruise ship and uh, drop my luggage off. I tell you, I want to drop it off at 10, 10 a.m. I go have lunch and come back around 11.30 and test the shuttle over. That's the plan, so I'm right on schedule, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once we get to the cruise ship. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, we coming up on there. There she is, y'all. Y'all better can't see up right now. Let me get past this train here, and then you'll see the breeze coming right up here on my left, my left hand side here. And actually, that's where I park at, y'all. Indoor cruise parking right here. That's where I'm gonna park my vehicle right there later on after I go eat lunch. But this is exactly, look at that, y'all. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I'm all about time, and y'all been following me enough. You know I'm all about being on time, being punctual. But there we go here, y'all. The breeze coming right here on the turn this down. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna roll my window down where y'all get a good view. And I gotta go up to the to the lake, to the light here. And uh turn the light down there you pull up here and just give your luggage to the porter and let them uh give them a little tip there and uh watch for the little kitties tell them to go that way okay so y'all pretty much see here huh so anyway i'll be right back once i drop my luggage down all right yeah y'all this is the frustrating part when well, you dropping off, everybody else dropping off, you get stuck in the little traffic right here for like five, six minutes. And uh, like I say, they come to porters like they're doing. They come up to your vehicle and uh, you put it on a little thing there. Give them a five, ten dollar tip. I always top them. You know, I just top, top, top them. Tip them five bucks, and that's it. And then the people in front will get out of my way, and I'll be rolling out of here. So yeah, I'm going to eat lunch, y'all. So. Anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all. That was simple and easy. See how easy that is? Now, all I got to do, I ain't got to worry about my luggage. I got my backpack with me. I didn't put, of course, y'all know, don't leave your ticket and your driver license, your passport and all that stuff, your essentials, your computer, camera equipment. Do not put that in your luggage, y'all. Y'all keep that with your carry-on on the trip. Everybody knows that. I knew that last year and I was a rookie. Yeah, so don't do that. Don't put that on your on there don't on the porter because you need that to check in but like i say i'm going here and i'm going in uh down the seawall oh not the seawall but in the uh called the boulevard and give me something to eat it is exactly 10 11. so that kind of took me level it really took me 10 minutes to do that and i'm gonna go and uh like i say eat and i'll be back over here around uh, about 11 15. i got an hour to go you know find something to eat and kind of hang out a little bit and then come back over here by 11 i want to get over here by 11 30 by the time i park my car check in whatever and get picked up by the shuttle and i'm on my plan is to get over there by 12 o'clock because you can't check in before your time you'll be sitting around over there waiting so that's the plan so y'all sit tight it's gonna be a long week i'm gonna try to blog as much as i can so anyway we will be back all right y'all we are back here on the seawall seawall right here y'all y'all see that sea wall right there and i'm gonna try to find me something to eat here because it's gonna probably be one probably one o'clock before i get on the ship so i haven't even eaten breakfast so i'm gonna try to 
I'm trying to find a taco cabana. I love my taco cabana. You get taco, you can get any kind of taco right now. So it's between <coughs> lunch and breakfast right now, 10.30. So I got an hour here to kill. So anyway, I'm gonna get me something to eat and I'll probably be back once I park my vehicle, y'all. It ain't important why I'm getting to eat right now. That ain't important. It's all about the cruise, so. Anyway, I'll be back once I park my vehicle. He finished eating. Once I park my vehicle, we headed to the cruise ship. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. What time is it? 11.30. And I'm about to park my vehicle. I'm telling you, I'm always on schedule. I'm telling you, y'all. That's the little goofy, uh, uh, nerdy part of me. I'm always on time. I'm always on schedule. I'm very punctual. When I say I'm going to be somewhere, if y'all going to be with me, you better come on. I'm going to leave you. So my parking is right here, and like I told you, I want to get to the parking spot here in the shuttle by 11.30. You know, sometimes you got to kind of wait. Last year, I had to kind of wait 10 minutes for the other shuttle to come back. So this is it right here, indoor cruise parking, and you can see the breeze up there in front of us, the ship. So it's like a five-minute drive. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to go in here and show my little cue card thing, and I'm going here and get on the... Uh, Park my vehicle and I'll probably be right back once I get on the shuttle. Be right back. Alright y'all, we on the shuttle here. On our way to the ship. On the way to check in. Um, I just want to get checked in y'all and get on the ship. Once I get checked in, get on the ship, I'll be absolutely can relax. Been up early this morning trying to make sure I don't forget nothing. You know, the older you get, that's when you forget things when you're rushing. So anyway, that's the shuttle here. We shuttle right across the street. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, look at this here. Now, last year, I didn't have to go through this, y'all. I guess cruises are getting more popular now. I should have got that faster to the fun thing. But look at this here, y'all. Look at all these people in here. And you know what? I ain't in no hurry because I don't work. I own my own company, so I just go on with the flow. The only thing I'm going to get dizzy going around is like an optical course. So that's gonna be the thing, y'all. But anyway, I'll be back once I get through security and all that. We'll check in, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we in another place here. It's another security thing. You gotta get your picture taken and all this up in here. I don't even know if you can be wearing, uh, filming in here. So anyway, it's another part of the the terminal that you gotta get, uh, get checked in at. So anyway, we'll be right back when we get through all these check-ins. Alright y'all, here we go. Here we go. On the breeze. Breeze over there. Right, go down zoom so y'all can see. We're gonna go the right way. Here we is, y'all. We are on board. We are on board, y'all. We are on board here. And we are on board here, y'all. Check this out. Yes. I'm back, y'all. I am back, y'all, on the cruise here. We are back here. So anyway, we will be back. Got a lot of recording this week. And we will be back, y'all. Between your legs, buckle up in front of me. Each leg jacket up for two features, whistle and a light. So attract attention. This light will be on automatically when you go inside the water, it's going to take on automatically like this. Make sure you have enough number of them. Another little tip, y'all, that I learned years ago. When you first get on the ship, walk up to the fifth or sixth floor, and there's nobody on the elevators. Everybody's downstairs, and you can go up to the tenth floor like that. So, little tip. All right, y'all, we made it out of the monster station, and we at the back of the ship. Now, I need to go way to the front. I'm not worried about nothing right now. I just want to get to the room, get this backpack off of me, and uh, kind of unload. Then I'll come back, because the ship leaves at 3.30. So I'm going to go kind of unwind once I get to my cabin, and I'll kind of show y'all. I got all week to kind of show y'all everything here. So that's pretty much it. I got everything done. I checked in, did my muster, muster station, muster station, whatever they call it. And uh, I'm good to go. So we'll be, once I get to the room, I'll be back.
All right, y'all, we have made it in the room here. I just opened up them curtains there. And we have, uh, like I said, last time I started low, y'all, I had a room with no porthole in it. And this time I got a porthole. It ain't much of a view. Actually, it's not much of a view because you got this blocking chair in front of it. So you really can't really see. I know you can kind of, you can actually see the ocean. When we get out of the ocean, this is not going to be a major thing, but it's kind of weird. I don't know if the other state rooms have this, but I'm at the back of the ship too. So I was last time I think I was in the middle of the ship. I think I'm at the back of the ship, but it's no big deal. Let me show y'all the room. I got a king bed here. Really, it's two queens put together. Got a couch here. My luggage haven't arrived yet. And last time my luggage came on time. And I told y'all, drop the, and, I, and the people next door to me, they platinum members. And they say sometimes they don't have their luggage till way in the middle of the night. So that's crazy. But anyway, king side bed, two queens really. Uh, something we didn't have last time in my room last time. I don't remember I had a, a, a shelf next to my room. Yeah, I did. But it didn't have no electrical outlets to charge your phone. I usually like to have my uh, phone laying there charged up, but it didn't have that neither one this one. Anyway, couch here, TV. I think this thing tilts. It does. It'll tilt out there, which is cool. You can watch TV in the bed there. You got the fridge here. I found out the trick with the refrigerator is to keep this kind of propped open. And uh, you keep that kind of propped open, and then you'll uh, the refrigerator uh, cool better. I found that out online. Okay, what we got here? Oh, this is the bathroom here. And you know, this bathroom is this has a tub in it, y'all. Wow, I, I'm six foot two. Ain't no way I can fit in this tub. But this is pretty cool. It actually, I guess it's a tub, huh? Is that a tub, or just happen to be? I don't know. I don't know, I guess it is. Yeah, it is. It's actually a bathtub in here, y'all. Hmm. That's interesting. But yeah, this, this bathroom is a lot smaller than the one last time. So what is the toilet in here? You know what? There's a tub in that one. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Oh, okay. This is okay. I have a tub in there. Okay, that's what it is. You have a tub here and a sink. It is a tub. Wow. Okay. And here's the one with the shower. And this is the toilet and another sink. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Never, I, didn't know, I didn't know I had that. And you got lots of closet space in here, y'all. One, two, you got here three got the hangers there and see here ain't got no life jacket where my life jacket y'all ain't got no life jacket in here that's your safe are you kidding me or did i miss them oh there they are gotta have my life jackets so i can swim up out of here if something go wrong telephone there and in the safe that's pretty much it y'all like i say i'm on my luck is not here yet but i'm gonna sit out my stuff where i can charge recharge I'm going to go on the Lido deck at 3.30. Hopefully it don't rain. It don't look like rain out here, y'all. And I can go and do the sell away party. I'm going to record some, and the rest I'm going to do YouTube live on it. So, anyway, so going to be a fun week. This is my residence for the week here, and we're going to see how much fun we can have this week. So, anyway, y'all, we will be right back. All right, y'all. Party got started out here. Look at this here, y'all. And I, if you want to see the sell away party, I did a live stream on the Sellaway party. Let me give y'all a little tour of the burgers here. I'm trying to talk over this music, this copyright music here. You see that long line right there? That's Guy's Burgers. Most popular, I think it's the most popular thing on the cruise right here. The Guy's Burgers right here. They make the burgers right there all fresh. Made the order, and then you got the toppings over here. Look at that, look at that. She, she, she ain't got no, no bread on there. I got hey, bread. Hey, no hey, bread. she ain't gonna need no bread to fill you up. See, that's how you do it. Get all meat. Okay, you got the 
Look how they doing it back here. I'm telling you, this place is packed all day long. See that? See that burgers back there, y'all? That's how you do it. That's how you do it there. And this place, I'm telling you, all day long is packed. We're gonna walk through here. And I'm gonna give y'all a tour later of the place because what time is it? Four? 430 so the buffet ought to be replenished out right now i'm gonna kind of give y'all that you got free ice cream right here free ice cream right there y'all i don't know if the dinner buffet is open yet but we're gonna check it out because i need i'm gonna go to my room kind of rest because i got dinner at six o'clock tonight and i'm gonna recharge my phone and all that because i just did a live stream of the celebrate party so if y'all want to see the sell away party, just go. And it, 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 I didn't even monetize it. So just go watch it. It's an hour, I think it's an hour and a half stream. And y'all go check it out and see. I hope this microphone is still on, y'all. Let me check. Let me check here right quick. Oh, no, it ain't even on. Hold on. Hey, y'all, we back here. Let me show y'all a little buffet thing in here. And it's like 4.30, like I say. I don't know if y'all how much y'all call it that. It's 4.30. The Selloway party just was over with. If you want to see the Selloway party, just go watch the... I got a live stream up, but I'm pissed to uh, take the elevator down here to my room. We're going to go get a little rest here. And uh, and I'm going to see what I got a fish out here. You can get your fresh seafood out here. Expensive. Expensive, y'all. It's expensive right here. So I'm gonna go back to my room here. I'm gonna take a little hour now. But I got a uh cello I'm cello away. I got a dinner reservations at six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock is my dinner reservation. Then the show starts at seven. So anyway, I'll be back once I get to the I don't know, when I come back, I'll be back. All right, y'all, we are back. It's what, about, about 6 o'clock. About 6 o'clock here, and uh, it's time to eat dinner. I got Sapphire Restaurant right here. I just checked in on my phone. So they all, uh, they'll uh, send me a, a text or a notification when my table is ready. So, yep. I usually eat dinner around 6 o'clock. Even if I'm at home, I eat dinner around 6 o'clock. And y'all, like I said on the live, if you didn't see my live, um, um, I've been up since 1 o'clock in the morning, y'all. And I'm still around. I'm just running on adrenaline right now. So, yeah. So, anyway, sitting here, the, you know what they call it. This ain't no piano bar, but I guess it's the lobby where the people, they be playing kind of music and stuff. So, anyway. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to see how many times I eat in this restaurant. I usually don't eat when they do the formal night. I usually eat the buffet, but this is how I do it, y'all. I come in here and I'll eat in here a little. And then I'll go to the buffet and see what they got over there. And then I might <clears throat> eat something else. So I just eat, 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 eat. So I'm going to take y'all along. The buffet on the first day when you first get on the ship, it don't look appetizing at all. I noticed that last year, even today, it didn't look appetizing at all, the buffet, when you first get on the ship. But as the weeks go along, it gets better and better, especially the breakfast. So, and tomorrow morning is a sea day brunch, which I missed last year. So I'm definitely going to do that in the morning. So they got a lot of stuff tonight going on late, late tonight. I don't know how late I'm going to stay up. But they got a movie that started at 10 to midnight. They got some stuff going 9.30, going in the Ovation Theater or whatever. So I set my long clock. Maybe I'll go to that. That's at 9.30. So I think after dinner, I'm going to go take a nap, get up maybe 9 o'clock, and come back and go to the thing in the theater. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back when I go inside to eat. All right, y'all, we back. I got my bread already. And I'm up here at the top. I, I, uh, I normally sit down at the bottom. They say, you want to sit down at the... I guess I should have sit down at the bottom. That's where you can see the, the view of the ocean. But it's okay in here. I can record over here and be in incognito and not really bother anybody. But yeah, I got a menu on the cue card here. Yeah, and the menu. All right, y'all, right, we are back here. All right, y'all. 
I got the menu here. I got my bread here. I'm up at the top, y'all. I'm up at the top. You're going to be down in the... Last year, I was at the bottom where you can see the view, but it's better over here. I can be very... Let's see what I'm going to get on the menu here. I think I'm going to get the... I'm going to get the roasted vegetable for the appetizer. The roasted vegetable ricotta lasagna for the entree. I'm going to get the pollo parmesan del cucina and then the molten lava cake, of course, for dessert. This molten lava cake, y'all know I don't eat chocolate, but this chocolate cake is absolutely amazing, y'all. It is amazing. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to eat tonight. You know, every every night the menu changes here. And I got some butter here with my bread. Got some water here, so I'm good to go here, y'all. First meal of the day right here. I ate a little earlier, but it's really my first meal. Nice meal. All right, y'all, we are back this. I got my vegetable lasagna right here. They're going to do some kind of show over there, y'all. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, here's my vegetable lasagna no, here. Looks good, honey. How are you doing tonight? So anyway, we're going to uh, be right back. All right, y'all, they back. Every time I come on, there's a song singing, y'all. But anyway, we back here. I got a uh, chicken parmesan with cheese. Got spaghetti up under there. Let's see here, y'all. Let's see what we got up under there. Got spaghetti up under there. I remember eating this. I remember eating this last year. It was very, very, very good. So anyway, we're gonna eat this up, and I'll be right back. Tell y'all how it is. But the vegetable lasagna. If I didn't tell y'all, I don't forgot if I told y'all or not. Absolutely amazing. But anyway, I'll discuss that when I finish. Be right back. Hey y'all, we are back here. Uh, the ship is rocking right now, y'all. Rocking right now, the ship. But well, look at this, y'all. And y'all know I don't like chocolate, but I love chocolate molten cake, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Let me hold on. Let me see if we got the molten in there, here, y'all. Hold on. Let's see here. We got that molten look in there. There we go. Look at that. Look at that there. There we go. So anyway, I'm gonna knock this out here, and I'll tell y'all what I think. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Look at this water, y'all. Ain't much of a view, but you can still see the water going pretty, pretty crazy there. Look at that, y'all. That's crazy. This thing here, I guess you can sit up on this thing and watch that. If you got little kids, they can sit up there and look at the waves all day, all night. But, yep, out in the middle of the ocean. But, anyway, about the meal, y'all, it was absolutely amazing, that eggplant uh, lasagna absolutely it had spinach in there and mushrooms i'm not a mushroom person but it was good and the like ricotta cheese and then the chicken was good i had that last year of course the molten cake i'm not a chocolate fan but the molten cake was absolutely amazing too so first meal of the day really for me y'all so yeah so anyway i'm gonna do me a late late old people nap it's about 7 30 i'm gonna take a nap to about nine then they got a little show down in Ovation Theater. I'm going to go check that out. Maybe come in the show and, and call it a night. But And get up early for my C-Day brunch I missed last year. So anyway, I will be back, y'all, when I wake up. And if I don't, I'll see y'all in the morning. If I don't update in the morning tonight, I'll see y'all in the morning. All right. All right, y'all, look at this sunrise. I almost say sunset. Look at this sunrise right here, y'all. Let's see if I can get y'all a little closer. I don't want my hat to blow off. And y'all see an old school so cool hat in the ocean. Y'all pick it up if y'all cruise by and see it. See that, y'all? Look at that. Nice. Nice sunrise, y'all. Can't beat that, huh? And you can look down on the Lido deck compared to yesterday. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. And this is peaceful. Let's say only old people up right now. We have a few young people, but mostly just old people up right now, y'all. So anyway, I'll be back. All right, y'all. We are going to have a plan. I'm going to get a couple of tacos there. Because the sea bay brunch doesn't start till, till 830. It's 8 o'clock right now. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, give me a couple of tacos. 
and then we will uh, see the taco place. You see the taco place. Let me go this way and show y'all. Let me get on this side and show y'all here. And you see the line right here, the people. People all like lined up. Maybe I'll go and get a little something off the buffet and then come back to the taco. I don't know what time the taco place open. You see it right here. Little one of tacos. So we got all the toppings right here. Let me zoom down here a little. All the toppings right here. So yeah, they got the line right here for the tacos. The burrito station is open already, but the tacos are not. So I don't want to eat too much because it's at the Blue Laguana Cantina, y'all. This Blue Laguana Cantina right here. So yeah, so I don't eat too much, but like I said, I'm gonna go to the Sea Day brunch. And uh I don't wanna overindulge here. I gotta definitely enjoy that over there. So anyway, I'll be back when I make a decision where I'm gonna eat at. Be right back. Alright y'all. We got this egg benedict, got some potato, got one pancake here, a couple of sauces. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna eat the sea day brunch too. See what they got to offer on the menu. I hear they got steak and eggs on there, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. They open in four minutes, y'all. So I'm gonna gobble this down, and then I'm gonna head over to the downstairs to the sea day brunch. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I still have made it to the sea day brunch. It ain't over. It ain't over to twelve. So I'm on. This is the what they call the wave. Let me go to my little planner here, y'all. Uh, what is this here? They got so much stuff. The Way Morning Show. Well, it's on the screen. So they do a morning show every morning. So at 9 o'clock. So the cruise director and I guess a couple other people. So I'm going to sit here for this for the next 30 minutes. Then I'll walk. All I got to do is go up one level. And then we'll do the sea day brunch. So anyway, I'll be right back. Let me call a little of the... Uh, show here and ain't much they just sitting up there talking so giving us information and stuff like that so we'll be right you hear how loud it is <laughs> listen biceps i'm gonna need you to yell at something up there okay i'm gonna count to three we're gonna scream one two three <laughs> thank you so much you look like you bitch messes the shit for a workout oh my goodness <laughs> look at this okay welcome everyone i am lawrence your cruise director everyone say morning lawrence Morning. Good morning, family. I am so excited you're all here. I really do mean that. Now, I'm coming at you all the way from a far off land called Austin, Texas. Anyone know where that is? ATX, yes? Fantastic. I'm here to make sure you're having a good time, but there's no way I can do this alone. So I have my amazingly passionate co-host sitting next to me, everyone. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to tell everyone your name. I want you to tell them. Uh, yeah, we are back here. And yeah, you got to make reservations for the Sea Day brunch here. So you see all these people waiting, and I've got like a 20 minute wait. I didn't know, I'm learning all this now, and I should have came early this morning when it first opened, and it wouldn't have been as long, but hey, I live and learn. So Friday, I'll know, get up early and be the first in there. So it's, no, it's really no big deal, because the next thing I got to do starts at, I think, 10.30, so it's perfect. So anyway, I'll be back once I get in here. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm still waiting on my table. I just walk around here and show y'all the arcade in here. I've never been up in here because I ain't no kid. I don't know what that goes to. I guess this go to more stuff, I guess. I guess not. Um, let me walk through here and see what's up in this little... Okay, I don't know how much these games are, but it's pretty look. I mean, I guess if you have kids, somewhere to take them to. Yeah, so okay up in here, y'all. You can win apple, apple pie. I guess you can win apple products. I think this is a big scam, y'all. I've never seen nobody win a lot of stuff on these things. So, do another one, get the little ticket book to come off of there. I don't know 
in there. I bet this place be packed later on with kids. It's the last place I want to be. The little kids underneath you, you can't see where they are. Be done fell and bust my butt. And here, you know, kids, they don't have no vision of people in there. They just run into you and bounce off you and just keep going. They don't know old people like him fall very easily. They can fall and just get up and keep going. So, yeah. I'm showing y'all a little arcade here. Still waiting for them to call me from my table. So, we'll be back once I get in there. All right, y'all. We finally inside here. And this is the... I have to tell you what the name of this uh, re restaurant is. So, see they brunch, y'all. First one. So, uh... I will, uh, I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to give me an omelet with some hash browns and some sausage and uh, dessert banana cream pie. That's pretty much what I'm going to get because what time is it? It is 10, 14, so about 45 minutes. I'm going to eat me a, a God, God Fairy burger. So anyway, I will be back, y'all, and pull this menu up, but, uh, and see why, like I said, I already know what I'm going to order. I already looked in the menu. But I'll be back once I get my food. Be back. Yeah, y'all. Um, I had a brain cramp. The name of this restaurant is Blush Restaurant. It's at the back of the ship. I get confused with this app, AFT or whatever. It's, I don't know why they don't put back, front, middle. They do put midship. So you don't know what part of the ship this stuff is. But it's on the back of the ship, y'all. At Blush. Let me go ahead and uh, put my phone up here. Y'all can see that. See that right there? Focus right there. Brunch. Sea Day Brunch. Blush Restaurant. 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Sea Days. So, yep. So, anyway, I ordered a croissant. And then I ordered me some... Uh, I ordered omelet. I'm going to see how the... Y'all know my pet peeve about omelet. I'm going to see how the omelet looks. Ham and cheese omelet with some fast browns and... Sausage and I order banana cream pie for dessert. Don't don't judge me for eating banana cream pie at ten o'clock in the morning. But anyway, like I said, we get out here and then we're gonna go hang out on the Lido deck with this 10th floor, tenth level, how you say it, and then we're gonna uh wait the guys' burgers open and then we're gonna go to it. They're gonna give a little demonstration, uh talk about when you dock and what's the end do's and don'ts and stuff like that so that's gonna be interesting to, to go listen to that so anyway i'll be back all right y'all i got me a croissant here and it's actually warm too got a little butter to go with it croissant and butter all croissant is is, is layered with butter but can't go wrong with croissant and butter so yep so um anyway i'll be back once my meal get here i'm gonna start working on this croissant i'll be back all right, y'all, we back. And the hash browns, I don't know what them kind of potatoes are. I don't know what that is. But I ordered hash browns and sausage. Omelette looks all right. It's not as brown as the one that's coming off the buffet, so not bad. Nice and fluffy looking. I have to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I got my sausage there. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Now I got a banana cream pie just coming later. I'm going to try it out, but that's it. So... I'm going to dig in here and we'll see how it is. I'll be right back. Look at this, y'all. I've eaten breakfast already, but this was good, y'all. I have to say, this one of the best breakfasts I've had in a while. The omelet was nice and fluffy. The potatoes was good. Absolutely amazing. So, anyway, I'll be back. Let's come out high. Thank you. Get this out the way. Thank you. My banana cream pie is here. Check this out. Check this out right here, y'all. Banana cream pie is here, y'all. So we're going to see how this feels. And I'll let y'all know everything once I finish this bad boy up. So anyway, we back. Hey, right, y'all. I was wrong. It's 11 o'clock. Good thing. Bad burgers, they don't open to 12. Which is absolutely great for me. Because I don't have to... I got an hour to kind of, you know, digest this breakfast I just had. But back to the breakfast. The breakfast absolutely amazing, y'all. As I told you, the omelet wasn't perfectly, you know, uh, yellow. Had a little brown on it, but it was good. Nice and fluffy. The potatoes was good. Whatever that red stuff with the potatoes, 
was absolutely amazing. The banana cream pie was amazing. I told you, I ate everything, even the banana cream pie. And that's a lot of food because everything wasn't really heavy. It was, uh, I don't know. It was just, it, it just went well. It went, I don't even feel full. I don't feel bloated after eating that. So anyway, I will be back, y'all. I'm gonna head up, stay here, and kind of hang out a little bit, and then we're gonna uh, get ready to get one of these burgers when they open up. We'll be back. All right, y'all. I'm left the theater over there, and this is another hidden trail. You see this here, y'all? Cucina Capitano. You can get, you can eat here free in the daytime between what, twelve thirty and twelve o'clock and two thirty, and at nighttime they actually charge to eat in here. What is it? Cochino Capitano. It's on the eleventh. It's on the eleventh floor, right at the back of the ship. So the Italian place. So it's free to eat in the daytime, and uh, at night you have to pay. So we're gonna go in there and get us a pasta. We'll right okay, y'all. How it works here? You come in, you pretty much seat yourself. They give you this piece of paper here, and you just write on there what you want. Like I got penny pasta with bolognese meat sauce. For the Italian sauce with cherry tomatoes. <clears throat> Try y'all, I need to get some water. Caesar salad, bread. And you can even get lasagna. Maybe I get lasagna too on that. It's all included. <clears throat> so, yeah, and then they wait to pick it up and then they'll bring it to your table when it's done. So, and it's right outside the back deck and it's right, it's right below the basketball place y'all you can hear him bouncing basketball right above the roof there. so yeah so anyway like i say the uh cochina copper channel whatever in the daytime it's free i didn't know that last time i came in the nighttime you charge to eat in here's up to it so anyway i'll be back once i get my meal all right y'all look i got my caesar salad already i got my bread here nice and not warm like a focaccia and I got a single salad here, and remember I ordered the pasta, and then I ordered lasagna too. So all that's included, y'all, all absolutely free. Only in the daytime, right here on the 11th deck, in the back of the ship under the basketball goal. You can just hear them beating. So anyway, I'm going to knock this out, and I'll be back when my entree comes. All right, y'all, look at this. This actually is my, what, fourth meal of the day? And this what time is it? It is 2.58, so after I get this, eat this, I'm going to do my old people nap, and I got, I'm going to get my guys' burgers later on today. But you got the lasagna here, the pasta that I kind of created. A salad, I ate a little bit. I say the bread to eat with my pasta, but yeah, y'all, it's a deal right here. Make your own pasta. They make it for you, bring it to you. Lasagna, all included, y'all. Only in the daytime. You can't beat this deal. So anyway, I'll be back. See how much I can knock out to this. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm back in the ship. I got my little, I don't know what this is called, y'all. What is it, an elephant? I don't know. It ain't an elephant. I don't know what they call it. I keep them, put them over there on that thing. I see people collect them all week, so I'm going to do that. And I finally got my thing. They supposed to bring this yesterday. Got me some cookies here. Cherry on top cookies. And my Pepsi here. I'm going to put that in my fridge. And I'm going to take my old people nap. Let's look at the water now, y'all. Y'all can see, oh, man, it's raging out there now. Check that out. Check that water out. When you're at the back of the ship, it even looks more crazy. That's a lot of water, y'all. I'll be looking. I said, man, if somebody fall in there, I don't know how people survive that. But I'm an overthinker. I say, if people fall in that water, I mean... I don't know. It's crazy to think about. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to take my old people nap. And I'll be up probably by 4 o'clock because I want to go and play sports trivia. And I'm, I won twice last year. I, I intend to win every one of them this year. I'm a sports fanatic nerd. Uh, I'll take anybody on when it comes to sports. So anyway, y'all, I'll be back when I wake up. What time is it? It's 1.22. I'm going to wake up at 4. I'll give me two and a half hours. Old people nap. So we will be right back. All right, y'all. We are up from the old people now. Time to go get me a burger. We going to Guy's Burger. The line not that long right now. So they close at 6 o'clock. So I got about 20 minutes before I get the, uh, before I have to uh, go to my trivia. So 
hold up the line picking and choosing what they want and when you can just go over there and they just hold up the whole line that's why the line moves slow but what you do you get your burger right there and then you just go over there right here and just get your toppings and it's good to go you can pick and choose what you want without holding up the line so just a little fyi for y'all y'all look what i got here double cheeseburger chili cheese onions bananas tomatoes pickles look at that y'all can I finish this bad boy or what? Can I finish this bad boy? That's a, my first guy's burger right here, y'all. Don't judge me. I had to make up for yesterday, so I got a double meat. Look at that. So anyway, I got about seven minutes till the trivia start, right? Right around the corner. So I got to knock this out while I make the trivia. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. I got too late for the sports trivia, y'all. I messed around with that guy's burger, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm to just hang around here. I'm not going to the dinner tonight because it's formal night, even though I can go in there. But I don't do the formal night thing. I, I just don't get dressed up and all that to go to the dinner. That, that ain't me. I know you ain't got to do it to go in the dining room, but somebody in there with shorts and a polo shirt and a and a hat on just going to stand out in there, I think. But no, I'm going to just hang around here. I'm going to eat the buffet tonight and just kind of hang out here and relax. And just what people watch and just just take it easy. Find someone find me an empty chair near the top and just just hang out and relax. And I'll, I'll be right back. Good morning, y'all. It is officially day two. It's like six o'clock in the morning. And look how quiet the ship is compared to yesterday. Yep. Only the old people get up this early, y'all. It's the old people area early get up this area and show y'all the view out here show y'all here it's kind of windy up here right now let me show y'all here check that out check the ocean out there look at that we got the moon up there this is kind of like a three quarter of a moon last night so yeah it's six o'clock I think the Continental Buffet open there. It might be open already, but uh, my favorite taco, you can see a cruise ship way over there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Y'all see that cruise ship way over there in the horizon. It might be the horizon, but yeah. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat me some tacos, y'all. And uh, a couple of tacos, then I'm gonna go to the sea day, sea day, sea day brunch, which I missed last time, because I didn't know. But I know now, and uh, I might come back to the buffet down here. I'm gonna eat a lot for breakfast, and I don't have nothing planned today. Everything is spontaneous, so spontaneous. So I y'all just take y'all along here, and uh, maybe tomorrow I give y'all a uh, uh, view of the ship, a tour of the whole ship. If y'all have been on the breeze, the carnival breeze, and let y'all kind of know, but. Anyway, just want to say good morning. It's day one, day two, really, really. Day first day. Oh, oh, last night I was supposed to come back on. If I, I went to sleep, y'all, and slept like a baby. The ship was rocking a little. I love the sea. I love the ocean, the way they're moving in there. Some people, it affects a lot, y'all. But to me, I love it. Absolutely love it. I slept really good, and I didn't get up. So I was supposed to get up at 9 o'clock and go see a show. I, I, last night, I was tired because I was up yesterday since 1 yesterday morning. So, yeah. So today gonna be a full day. I take it and, and pace myself. I'm definitely gonna get some guys burgers today and uh, buffets and eat today. It's all about eating. So anyway, we'll be back. Look at this, y'all. This water is so blue, perfect. Look at this, y'all. I mean, this is just 
awesome, y'all. Look at this. Just scan around here. Little things in life, I guess, y'all. And I haven't did nothing for the past three hours. Sit on the Lido deck and just people watch. I'm going to go down, take a shower, and then I'm going to come and eat the buffet. I'm not, like I said, I'm not eating in the, in the, uh, formal dining tonight. I just, uh, let the formal people y'all dress up and do that. So that's the plan for the night. But look at the sunset, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Check this out. Tell me that ain't awesome right there, y'all. Tell me that's not picture at. That's an Instagram photo right there, y'all. That's all Instagram right there. But anyway, y'all, we'll be back when I go to the buffet later on. We'll be right back. Thank you very much for this uh, nice uh, introduction. Uh, and uh, let's see one more time. Uh, one more time. Okay. I am the captain. Everyone say hi, captain. <laughs> Welcome on board the beautiful carnival, Prince. Your home away from home for this uh, fantastic fight. There is cruise. Have you enjoyed so far? Yeah. yeah. Look like. Have you enjoyed so far? Yeah. Remember you are on vacation? To switch on vacation mode. You sleep with it. Sing along, dance along. I'm watching to see who's going craziest. Okay, JD, let's get them, let's ease them into it. What was that first song? If you know this one, you're gonna cheer and yell out the song title. Hit it, JD. What we got? Okay. If you know this one, just sway with me. Come on. It's just a little snap. Now sing. <laughs>
good morning, y'all. It is day, really day three, day two, second full day. Look at this, y'all. Look at this here. And we should be in Mexico, Cozumel. Look, it's raining over there, y'all. See that rain over there, y'all? That's crazy. Right, you can see stuff you don't normally see on land, but uh, we should be in Mexico in about two hours. And uh, it's about 6 o'clock now, so I figured to get there by 8. So we're supposed to get off the ship at 9 o'clock. It usually take about an hour to get everything situated before we can get off. But, yeah, another beautiful morning. Another day God has blessed me with and created. God's creation is amazing. Every time I look, God's creation is amazing. But last night was awesome. Well, late night, y'all, I got back to my cabin, state room, whatever you call it there. 12, 30 a.m., can you believe it? Was up in them clubs. I hadn't been in the club in 30 years. I'm 55, I quit going to the club at 25 years old. I figured out it was nothing in there for me. The ladies didn't like me. I didn't have no money, so I just got out of them and never went back to another club. The first time I went in the club in, in 30 years, y'all. Can you believe that? And I tell you one thing, two things, <laughs> I'm glad I don't go to the club is, uh, the music's too loud, and they stay open too late, and they open too late. So, I guess I mean I'm too old. So, anyway, um, I did shoot some videos, videos, some videos of some uh, singing and things. A little, uh, I guess they clubs too, but a different kind of a little events was going on around the ship last night. Some stuff I couldn't record because of copyright infringement with YouTube, like the live actual real music from artists. Uh, I couldn't record that. They had a good Motown sing-along thing that was awesome. Got the dancing in there. So, But other than that, I try to record as much stuff as I can that doesn't have no copyright infringements. But anyway, I'm going to sit in here and relax here and kind of enjoy this breeze and the sunlight, the sunshine behind the clouds. And uh, yeah, y'all, we will be back later on. I'm going to eat some breakfast. Yeah, definitely. going to get some tacos today. I didn't get tacos yesterday. Y'all see how much stuff I ate yesterday, but don't judge. I'll be back. All right, y'all, we back here. I just did a live stream. Now, as I said in my live stream, I'm going to go get me a couple of tacos. We are close to Mexico. Let me go up here to the top, y'all, where y'all can kind of see. Then I'll go back down to the bottom. Maybe I can show you through here, but the glass just doesn't do it justice. The blue water, as it did earlier. Let me show y'all here. Let me go up these stairs here. If I fall, I'm not going to edit it out, y'all. I'm going to just let y'all have a good laugh. If I fall down these stairs, I'm going to keep it in the video. My videographer, she's going to say, you want to keep this in? She'll say, oh, yeah, that's real. That's real stuff there. I'll take it out. So anyway, I'm going to roll over here, y'all, and show y'all this beautiful blue water. And then we're going to go get me a couple of tacos. We got Mexico over there, if y'all can see it. See that? Let's see if I can zoom in here. I probably can see it over there. You can see it. Mexico there. You got the beautiful blue water here. See that? Look at that. Damn, that ain't some pretty water. So anyway, I'm going to go here. Blue iguana. Give me a taco. And I'll be back once I get my tacos, y'all. All right, y'all, we back here. So I just got the regular tacos here. I got chicken, cheese, beans. I, I put some uh, uh, pico de gallo on there, some chalua. And that's it, y'all, a couple of tacos. And later on, I'm going to go in there to the buffet and see what they have in there. But So anyway, I'm going to sit here and have my breakfast, and uh, we will be right back. All right, y'all, we are off the ship. We got the breeze right here. If I can lower it down. And look at this one over here, y'all. We got Royal Caribbean, which is my next cruise. Is Royal Caribbean, Allure of the Seas. That's Royal Harmony of the Seas. You got Harmony of the Seas, Allure of the Seas. You got, hey, what is it? Navigator of the Seas. They got so many, but yep. So we headed across this. Yes, border, I guess you call it. I guess we're in Mexico already, but we're in Cozumel. We're headed across the 
the bridge here. But yep, you got the breeze right here, y'all. That's my ship. That's my home, as you know, for the week. But anyway, y'all know I'm country. If I had me a fish hook, I wouldn't have to do nothing. Y'all just let me fish here for eight hours right here, and I'd be good. But you can't do that, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm country. Every time I see this much water and this close, I'm looking for a fish hook and a pole. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back. All right, y'all, this is a better view. And you got the breeze. You get the whole breeze in there. Then you got Harmony of the Sea over there. What's next to us? Serenta of Serenade of the Sea? Let me zoom in there. That's Royal Caribbean. I guess both of them are Royal Caribbean. The Carnival here, and then you got the uh, Mexico here. Cozumel here in the front here. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back once we get in across this stuff we go through. But they got all this liquor in here, y'all. <laughs> they want you to buy the same price you can get in the States after you pay the taxes and all that. So, anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are in Cozumel here. You can see right up in here. Look at that. Because the mail. I don't know what this is, y'all. I guess some kind of pyramid or some something they built back in the day. I have no idea. But I did a live, so I'm going to go back to where y'all, of course, y'all didn't see me doing the live. I'm going to go back the other way here. And uh, they got all different kind of shops. Like I told you, I don't do no excursions and all that. That ain't me. I see that ship back there? See that ship back there? The breeze? I make sure I can see that ship, y'all. I'm that guy in Mexico. Now, if I go somewhere else, yeah, but I know the corruption and stuff going this time in this country. And I don't trust it. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be right back when I get to the po uh, other part of uh, the Cosmo thing here. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I told you, y'all, it's just a typical day in Mexico. Look at this here. I don't know what's going on, but some craziness going on here. And, uh, they got the police out here and the machine guns and all this here. So, so I don't know what the hell's going on around here. But... You got all the police out here in the army and everything. So, yeah, that's why, that's see why I don't be going to these places, y'all. I'm standing right over here watching from a distance. But it might get me for recording. It might follow me back to the ship. But anyway, y'all, I'm headed back to the ship. I'm going to my safe zone. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I just walked through all them shops and stuff like that. And I really didn't buy nothing. Let me tell y'all something about me. I'm, everybody's different. And I know these people out here trying to make a business. And I respect that. And I expect, appreciate their hard work. But people that's over-aggressive sellers, that turns me off. Look, I'll buy something from your shop. Just let me walk in and let me just take my time. But if you over-aggressive, oh, that, that turns me off and I will walk out. Some people like it. I don't. That is something just a real turn off for me. So I didn't buy nothing out here today. I mean, shout out. I, I mean, I, last year I bought a lot of stuff. It got really nice. I think I bought a cowboy hat. I bought some t-shirts. But this year, no. See that ship right there? Breeze. I'm going to get back on that ship, y'all. And go get me some. Get me some. Oh, they got the Carnival Quest out here. Another Carnival ship. But anyway, I'm going to get back on this ship and go get me some guys, guys burgers and relax. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be back once I get on the ship. All right, y'all, we are back. Just, we out of the Cozumel place. You got the Carnival Breeze over there. You got the Carnival Conquest. You got the Home of the Seas. What is that? Serenade of the Seas over there. I assume that's the Royal Caribbean dock over there and this is for the breeze over here i mean the carnival here and that's the royal caribbean over there so yeah so they're about the same size ship but royal caribbean they build some massive ships so that's pretty cool to see all these big ships right here next to each other and just see how massive they are that's crazy so 
Anyway, y'all, I just left out there and eat liquor. I don't drink liquor, but I like to, you know me, I compare prices. And I was checking some lady trying to sell me some Patron. And uh, it was $56. She said, I go down to 53 Now, I know these people trying to make money. It's a business. Hey, I have respect for that. But at least don't try to rip the people off. So what I do, I pull up my phone, go to Google, search Katie Liquor Store in my area, and I pull up the same exact Patron that she was trying to show me, and it come up $41. And I showed her, and she just looked kind of sad. Because a lot of people don't price check. They think just because you come to Mexico, everything's cheaper. Not necessarily. Do your research, guys. When you come over here, some stuff is cheaper, but if it's too, seem too <laughs> good of a deal like liquor, don't do it. So anyway... I'll be back once I get on the ship. I'm going to get me a burger. Oh, my God. I'm just still enamored by the size of these ships, you know. Like I said, that's the Carnival Country. It's big. This is pretty much nothing. I got that nice blue water right here. Look at that nice blue water. Look at that nice water there. But this time I am. Next time I come back, y'all, I'll be eating behind burgers. I'm sorry. I'm just a grandma. I just got to get on the video. All right, y'all. We are back on the ship. Let me show you something, y'all. Look how empty this ship is. We go over here. With the guys' burgers. You remember that long line I was telling you? Look at that long line. Look at that, ain't no line. Ain't no line at all, y'all. Get all the burgers you want. Back to back burgers, look at that. See that? That's how you do it. They dock the ship. Just come back. Look at that, ain't no line at all. See that? That's how you do it. I'm gonna go fill up my, I gotta fill up my cowboys. Thing here, and I'm gonna come back and get me a burger. So that's how you do it, y'all. Little chill. Come back early on dock day. Fourth day, encouraging day, whatever you call it, and you ain't gonna have to wait in line. Who we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Look at this. Look at that, y'all. Check that out. Check that out. Like I say, no waiting, y'all. It took me literally five minutes to get a fresh hamburger, fresh new real hamburger. How easy is that? Look at that. And I don't eat cheese, but I'll deal with it. They do have some with no cheese on it, but I'm not really uh, that picky. So yeah. I'm going to go in my room by 2 o'clock, 2 to 4. What time is it? 1.28. Give me about 30 minutes. I'm going to get me some strawberry ice cream after this. Go take me an old people nap to about 4 o'clock because I got to come up, y'all, and wash these pure runners. And we got some. We'll put them on from We got the water right here next to me. It's pretty much leaving the, living the easy life, right? So, anyway, we'll be back on side. Probably next time I come back, y'all, It'll be after my old people now. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, it's dinner time. And I like where I am because I can record and it's like incognito. I don't like recording. Uh, uh. How you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Somebody will join you? No, just me. Okay. I definitely need some bread over here and butter. All righty. All right, y'all, I need to see what's on the menu. Like I say, I like to be over here. I can record and it does, it's not disturbing other people. I'm just like that when I record in restaurants. So, anyway, I'm gonna see the menu. I don't know what they're having tonight. I don't know why I ain't checked the menu already. And I'll be back once I get my bread. The bread is amazing. All right, y'all. This is what I'm gonna order appetizer. I'm gonna get the baked meatballs, entree. I'm gonna get the salmon cake. They got all kinds of good stuff on here. You can see this menu right there. And then uh, dessert is the molten lava cake because there's nothing else on there I like on the dessert. You got bitter and blunt, roasted pineapple, fruit, ice cream. And I'm going to get the cho cho chocolate molten cake. Y'all know I'm not a chocolate fan, but the chocolate molten cake is amazing. So that's definitely what I'm going to eat, y'all. So anyway, I'll be back when the first thing comes, which should be the baked meatballs. So anyway, we'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back here. Check this out. Check this out here. Uh, what is it? Baked meatballs? Check this out here. 
I know I love me some meatballs here. So, yeah. Get three there. I know you get more appetizers, but baked meatballs. I think that's what they call it. So, this the appetizer. So, we'll be back. We'll finish this and we get the entree. So, we will be back. All right, y'all. Check this out. The video that's singing happy birthday. Check this out. Salmon cakes. Or oh, like my dad used to say, salmon. I think we got like a deal sauce there. Y'all know salmon and deal go together very well. But check that out, y'all. So I'm excited to I'm excited to dig into this, y'all. Salmon cake. Let's see if it tastes like mine, y'all. My salmon patties. So we'll be right back. And we are back, y'all. I know y'all said Chef Jeffy eating chocolate. Something about chocolate molten cake. But this time I'm gonna put the ice cream in. I'm breaking all my pet peeves right now. Y'all know I don't like ice cream on cake. So I'm gonna put the ice cream in there and I'm gonna eat it like that. Hey, I'm on a cruise. I can do what I want, right? So, yeah, let's check that out. Like I did last time. Let's check it out and see. We've got that molten in there. Let's check it out. Hold on, y'all. Let's check it out here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that goodness. See that? See that? Perfect. So, anyway, we'll be back. Now, I'll tell y'all how this meal is. So, we'll be back once I finish this. All right, y'all. I am out here on the Lido deck, 10th deck. They watch some movie or some kid movie or something. Some animated movie. I don't even know what the name of it is. But the dinner was absolutely amazing. What time is it? It is 701 and I got a I got a uh uh win lock. Okay, win lose or draw. I can't think of the name of the contest. It's coming up at seven o'clock and then the, the funny show, I'm telling you, and uh, I think is love and marriage later on at nine thirty. It's like a you get a couple married couples up there and they just ask them questions and it's so funny. But the, at seven at seven thirty they got a, a win lose or not, Win, lose, or draw? It's not win, lose, or draw. What's the name of this thing? I'm on here live time. Look stuff up, y'all. Seeing what it's called. Deal or no deal. That's the name of it coming up. But anyway, let me do this quick here. The uh, salmon case was very good. The spinach it was on was very good. The meatball was, y'all. Every Italian dish I've had on this ship has been amazing. I don't know if the guy, the chef is from Italian, Italy or what. The sauce on that is absolutely amazing. So the meatball appetizer was amazing. The salmon was good. And the molten lava cake. Maybe I'm changing my mind about uh, cake, uh, chocolate, y'all. And I put the ice cream in there, and I eat pretty much all of it. So I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm turning on uh, this cruise. is flipping me around my opinion on chocolate. But anyway, y'all, I'll be back. Maybe I'll record a little the uh, deal or no deal and the loving marriage. Y'all definitely got to see that. So I'll be back, y'all. So it was a nice dinner, and I'm gonna just sit out here about 30 minutes here, and just take the elevator down to the second floor and go in and watch the show. So we'll be back. All right, y'all. This is show deal or no deal. This one I was telling y'all about. Uh, I watched it on TV, and you can actually play the game. I just like to come in here and see the excitement from the crowd as they play it. And ovation theater. You got people way up to the top watching too. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. And then uh, the next show is at 9.30, Love and Marriage. But between these two hours, I'll probably just go outside and sit down on the, on the Lido deck and uh, just hang out and enjoy life, y'all. So we'll be back next time I come back. Maybe I'll come back and cut in if something gets funny. Uh, but other than that, we'll be back to Love and Marriage. We'll be back. Two more cases before the Malcolm makes an Case number five. All right, let's open up case number five. Low value, low value, low value, low value. Seventy-five. Yeah. One more case, and after this case, carry the banker. He's gonna make you an offer for your case. All right. Make it a low value, and let's see what the offer is going to be. What case? Case number nine. Case number nine. Let's open up case number nine. Low value, low value. Five dollars! Yeah! Okay, y'all, this is the one that's 
that's uh, funny. Let me zoom in here. Look at that. Love and Mary. This thing is hilarious. Especially if the guy, the host, was good, which I know uh, our uh, crew director Lawrence is amazing. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is one of the funniest shows I ever seen in person on the cruise. Last time I came, this was just a show. I just happened to come in on it. But this time, I marked it down in my planner not to miss it. So I'm going to come back, y'all, and show you some other excerpts of that is going on. So we'll be right back. Your part, and one of the people in the part, this is not standing up. That means they don't want to play. Leave them alone, okay? I'm looking for the first couple. I'm looking for a couple that is, let's say, um, fresh. Okay? I'm looking for a couple that is newly married. So, if you're in the Ovation Theater and you have been married for three months or less, three months or less, both of you stand up to your feet at this time. Family's going to give you a round of applause. Three months or less. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. All right, y'all. Good morning, y'all. It is day four. It is day four. Look at this, y'all. Sun's about to come up. We're almost in Progreso today. I think that's the call of port today is Progreso, Mexico. We're in Cancun. I don't think why I left y'all off yet last night. Oh, that love and marriage thing. I didn't record that, y'all. That was so funny. I, I was just so enamored and just having fun with it that I didn't even record a lot. And I got to be very careful. A lot of stuff I'm not recording because you won't be able to hear the music and it just will not fit with it because, you know, YouTube infringement, YouTube copyright uh, thing. is. Look at uh, What is that? A stingray? What the world is that? What kind of bird is that, y'all? Oh, that's that. That's a seagull. That means we close to land. When you see those, I mean a stingray. Yeah, excuse me. No, a stingray doesn't fly. But that means we close to land. When you see seagulls, when you see birds, that means land is not too far away. So anyway, y'all, check out this water here. It's not as blue as it was yesterday in uh in uh, uh Cosmo, but anyway, we're gonna get off today and progress so and see what we can find and get into the day. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Let me give y'all a little tour in here before the buffet is open. You see, the buffet is closed now. What time? The only thing right now between six and seven is a continental buffet, but seven o'clock. They open up the regular buffet, which you see is closed right now. And right now you got the Continental Buffet that's open. You get your danishes and croissants and muffins, whatever you want. You can make your sandwich. I don't know who likes sandwiches for breakfast, but you can make sandwiches. And uh, who makes sandwiches for breakfast? I guess it's a, I guess that's normality. We got food in, uh, over there. Morning, how you doing? And then uh, we got your cereal over here. So they got my favorite cereal, y'all. They got Frosted Flakes. They got Fruit Loops. I got a co-worker. If he's watching, he loved the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. He loved that stuff. But it's the name brand cereal up in here. I never noticed that. Well, I'm not eating cereal on the cruise, but the kitty probably love that. But anyway, let's head on up to the front of the ship here, y'all. Of course, you got the eating where you can eat right there as you, uh, as you, uh, look at the water. So we'll go, uh, moving right along here. And the more I'm going to give y'all a tour of the other places here. Y'all only see the food places, and that's why I'm a foodie. But, uh. The casino and the piano bar and the other places up up in the other areas of the ship. But anyway, I'm just go ahead and sit down and relax uh, until the buffet opens. I gotta give me a taco. So anyway, we'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. We back here. I got my breakfast here. Got my two tacos. Like I told y'all, what I got on here: chicken, cheese, eggs. Pico de Gallo, a little lettuce on there, a little Chalua hot sauce. A couple of those, it's like an appetizer, y'all. Then I'm going to hit the buffet. I got to get my eggs in a day. 
But yeah, that's bucket for right now. Let us give me Xfinity. And I still can't see land from here, y'all. I know we close to Mexico though. Progresso. So anyway, y'all, I will be back once I get to the buffet. Be right back. Alright, y'all. We just got off the ship. You see the ship right here behind me? The breeze. But Progresso, Mexico, y'all. So last year when I took a crew, we went to another town instead of uh out before Collin Mail, uh cannot think of the name of it. But you know, this is for Crestle. I've never been here, I don't have a clue. But it's supposed to be one of the best tourist destinations, I guess, there are. So I don't know. So anyway, once I get into the the water's more green here I know. Yesterday in Collin Mail it was blue. This was more green. But yeah, you, know, you can see that. You ain't got all other kind of I'm not cruise ship, they're like work ships, I guess. You see all the water back there and they got the cruise ship here, but yeah y'all. I'll come back on here. I guess we're the only ship docked right now. I don't know as I walk further up. But anyway, I can see my room probably for right check. I was watching them. I guess I should have did a video. Uh when they tied the ship down, it's a, it's a, it's interesting how they done it. So yeah, <laughs> I guess I should have recorded it. But it's interesting how they how the workers tied the ship down and all that. But anyway, enough rambling. I'll be back once we get over to Progresso. All right, y'all, we got through here. So we are gonna do a little exploring here. See, nobody has the Dallas Cowboys, man. You know the Dallas Cowboys. Nobody has it. You know why? Because he's so popular and he don't hate us. There they go. We got one right here. We got one right there, y'all. Uh huh. I might come back and get that one. Yeah, there's some more Dallas Cowboys stuff over here, y'all. So we're just. Yeah, we just. That's a bag. Dallas Cowboy bag. Yeah. We got hats over here, cowboy. They got one here. Another thing for say Progresso on it. Yeah, Progresso on it. But, you know, I'm going to give me something with Dallas Cowboy on it from Mexico. But anyway, uh, I'm going to walk through here and just kind of see what they got in here. Like I say, y'all, I'm not a big excursion beach fan. If I find me some good food to eat, I'm definitely going to eat that. But. And they love their black diamonds over here. Y'all people love them diamonds. I don't wear jewelry. I don't wear no gold, no diamond, no nothing. Never have. Ever since I was growing up, never been a fan of jewelry or diamonds and all that stuff. Gold and all that. No. Never been a fan of it. But I got maybe get some liquor. I got the Kahlua here, 24 US. And I'm definitely going to do my price comparison if I buy anything here. So. Anyway, y'all, I'll be back when I find something else interesting. We'll be back. All right, y'all, we are on the bus now. Because you got to take a bus to go downtown and progress. So it's nothing. Once you get off the ship, right in the port, there's a couple of shops as I showed y'all. But other than that, you got to get the bus. The bus is free. It's a shuttle. And they shuttle you downtown. So I'm on the bus right now. And then I don't know how long, how far downtown the ride is. But yeah, they, the last bus, they say leave one hour before the ship leave, but I'll be back way before that. Yeah, I ain't going to wait no, no one hour for no ship leave. But yeah, so anyway, we take the bus, shuttle bus, and we'll be back when we get downtown for rest of all. Now, everybody, I think so. We're right, starting to see the pool right now, and this is crucial. This I want to show you more the local area, okay? In Mexico, the medium class place, the VIP place, and the working class. But now, if you like a Tokyo fried chicken in Mexico, we can get Tokyo but in the corner yeah. to the right, we can try the real Mexican flavored chicken inside there yeah. to the right in the corner. Look at that. Okay. Pollo yeah, asado, okay? If you like the pollo asado, yeah? That's Maya, <laughs> Mexican, <laughs> mestizo, Chinese. okay? 
mestizo. <laughs> Three different uh, races. Yeah, what is the Maya people? Remember, it's only the old people who use the pick and dress. Like Sometimes they don't bus. speak Spanish, yeah. believe me. I they speak a lot of uh, Maya. Sometimes they speak only 50% Spanish. But normal English for them is Mayan language. What is the Mexican people? The Mexican people, of course, looks like me. You know? Very sexy. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I have a Mexican wife because my mama born here in Yucatan and my father born in Veracruz. What is Veracruz? It's one port to the left of the Mexico City. Okay, 24 hours drive from here, three hours if you take the flight. Look at that, y'all. Look at that chicken up in here. That's real roasted chicken. Look at that, y'all. That's real roasted chicken. Guess they sell it with the tortillas and all that, but look at that, y'all. Can't get no better than that, huh? Oh, yeah. Definitely, and they got the real Coke. Do they have real Coke in there? No, they don't have the glass Coke. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to see if I can get something. It's probably too early right now. It's what time is it? It's 1020 right now. So, anyway, we'll be back in the side where I'm going to eat some of this at night. I'm going to show y'all something. It's very interesting, y'all. Look, you got a restaurant right here that sells fajitas. And then right next to it, you got a feed store that's selling live chickens. So I guess you come here and you buy your chicken and you go over here and you cook it. Look at this, y'all. This is interesting. Look at this. You got a restaurant here. And then you come over here and see them chickens over there. You got live chickens in there, y'all. It's a feed store, I guess, and you buy a lot of chickens or whatever. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting here. Okay, you got uh, there's a whole streets of little shops and stuff. I'm trying to find me a taco. Hi, sir. Good morning. Are hey. you heading to the beach? No, no. No. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you got shoes here. But I bought me some Dallas Cowboy and bought a new hat, a cat hat. Then I bought a backpack. So I'll show y'all later when I get back to the ship. I packed it down in my backpack. So, anyway, we'll be back. It's a fruit and vegetable market. Look at this, y'all. We got all these fruits and vegetables in here. And it smells absolutely amazing in here. Got tomatoes here. Okay. Watermelons here. Oh man, look at this here. It's amazing in here. Look at this. We got the real Mexican Cokes. So, so anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go live and see if I got enough time on my phone to go live and do this. But yeah, it's amazing. I don't know how to get all this stuff back to the on the ship and take it back. But this is really amazing in here. So anyway, y'all, I'll be back here once I find something else interesting to show y'all. All right, y'all, we're back to the ship now. The debris right there. I got me some t-shirts, y'all. I'll show y'all later. I got me some t-shirts for the four of them. For four lucky people in my friends and family list. And I, I told y'all about my Dallas Cowboy, uh, my Dallas Cowboy hat and my Dallas Cowboy backpack. So I got all of that. So... I'm set, y'all, for this. That was interesting about Mexico. And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do a YouTube uh, cruise review on a separate video. I'll just tell you what I thought about the cruise and all that. I always do a separate video for that. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go back to my cabin, put this stuff down, get this backpack off. And guys, burger time. Okay, I'm, I'm up to four. Eight is my record. I'm here today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna see how many I can eat between the day and the morning. I gotta eat five between the day and the morning. So anyway, I'll be back, y'all. Once I get my guys burgers, we'll be right back. Look at this, y'all. Ain't no line. Guys burgers. Deportation day. Not a deportation day. Fourth day. Look at that. No line. Get in there, eat as many, as many burgers you want. So this on camera gonna be number, I think, three on camera. I've eaten four, so yeah. So anyway, we will be back once I get my burger.
All right, y'all, we back. Now, this is burger number five. I'm going to put some donkey sauce on there now. I don't know what donkey sauce is. Take like kind of mayonnaise and something there, maybe black pepper or something in it. So they let me taste it. It's not spicy. I want to make sure it wasn't spicy, but yeah. So we're going to knock this out. Like I say, I'm one of the people out in port, as you can see, people, we still at port here, and there's not a lot of people in line. So anyway, we're going to knock this out. Guys, burger number five. Right, y'all, we are here for dinner. I'm on the second level today. I don't know if y'all can't see the water. can't see the water anyway because the windows are all fogged up. But let me see y'all what I'm going to eat today here. Let me pull up the menu and do it live here. Yeah. I'll pull up the, I'll pull up the menu and I'll let y'all know what I'm on. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay. Let's see here, y'all. I think I got it right here. I'm going to do the shrimp cocktail for appetizer. Yeah, I know I love my lasagna. I love lasagna. They got lasagna on here, bolognese, the entree. I don't, they got barbecue pork, fat rib. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh. Cornmeal crusted chicken breast shrimp creole. I think I want lasagna. And the dessert, I ain't gonna do chocolate tonight, y'all. I'm gonna do the apple pie with vanilla ice cream, see if it's for real. So that's what I'm gonna order. So we'll see. How it is. We'll be back. All right, y'all. Shrimp cocktail is here. Check this out. Look at that. Now, no, I could get two, but I'm gonna eat. Y'all know I'm gonna eat later on after this video. I'm gonna go probably see what's on the buffet. So I don't eat a lot while I'm in the dining room. But I know you can order two or three appetizers. But yeah, look at that nice shrimp cocktail. I know last year was very, very good. So anyway, we eat this and wait on my entree. Now y'all check this out. Look how huge this thing is. If there's anything like the vegetables of any y'all. You know it's gonna be good. Check this out. All beef lasagna. I know this is gonna be good. I got swimming in the sauce, got cheese on there, a lot of meat look like. Yep, I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I don't think I'm gonna be eating after this. Good, I only ordered one entree, huh? So anyway, I'm gonna try it out and we're gonna I'll let you know. Lasagna, beef lasagna. All right, y'all. Dessert is here. Apple pie a la mode. Y'all know I don't like ice cream and apple pie. I should have told him. But I'm going to try something different. When you're on the cruise, you try something different, right? So check this out. Let's check this out, y'all. Apple pie a la mode. I had this last year, but I don't remember how good it was. So I'm going to check it out. We'll see. Because the conception of the song like, didn't happen until late 80s, late, late 80s, and the song didn't become popular until the 90s. So I was like, I don't know if I can put this in my 80s party. Then I remembered, I am the cruise director. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so all I ask is that you sing this. If you know it at the top of your lungs, this runs. This song is dedicated for me, Chrissy, Shy, Melissa, Slick Rick, Sunshine, JD, all of us to you. If you know it, sing it. Y'all, good morning. It is day five. Last day of the cruise, y'all, and I'm up here in the fitness center. This is on the 11th floor. I keep saying floor deck or however you say it. And we got all, nobody's even up here in here, y'all. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. People don't, what time is it? 6.32. People don't be working out, I guess, y'all. So, yeah, I ain't going to work out either, but they got all these treadmills in here. Got some weights here for you. And uh, got your little TV on here. Get up on here and watch a little TV there because you do your morning workout. And uh, dinner was awesome. I don't know if I told y'all that night. The, uh, what did I eat last night, y'all? I forgot what I ate last night. Uh, hmm. What did I eat? I had apple pie. It was all right. Apple pie with dessert was all right. Uh, also, the uh, what is that? This thing, what is that there? It's making noises there, y'all. There's a ghost up in here. But uh, 
Oh, the lasagna was absolutely amazing. Yes, the shrimp cocktail was okay, but the lasagna was amazing. I'm on. I don't know what it, what kind of sauce they use in here for these little. But the lasagna, the vegetable lasagna, red lasagna is absolutely amazing. So I need to really. Uh, this thing is tripping me out, y'all. Hold on, let me see what's going on with this machine here. This thing moving by itself. Is it a ghost or what? Look at this, y'all. They won't do it now. It's on camera. Let's see what's wrong with this thing. It's just moving on its own. Sorry, I'm not working. You're right. It say, sorry, I'm not working. But this thing is working. You know, I saw it moving. But it's been moved while I'm talking. But anyway, uh, definitely today is all about eating. The ship doesn't dock. We're on our way back to Gallison. It's a sea day. We'll be back in the morning, Saturday. But uh, it's all about eating. And we eat today my tacos. I got to eat my... Uh, See, it won't do it now. I think this thing is tripping. I need to uh, get my tacos. Eat them. Look at this, y'all. Something wrong. See, day brunch. I'm going to eat that. And uh, that's uh, on, uh, because I'm going to eat the taco, go get see, day brunch. Then I'm going to go uh, eat the buffet. Probably hang out a bit. I'm going to go. Uh, uh, Got to get my guys burgers and today, again, I got to break my record. I got six. I mean, I got to eat three today, y'all. I don't know how I can do that. Might be just two today and tie the record. And um, and then dinner tonight, and that's pretty much it. I got some shows and things in the middle. So it's going to be a busy day today. So I'll definitely need to trade meal next week when I get back to Katie. So anyway, y'all, y'all join me for my day today. This is day five, Carnival Cruise. Breathe. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back here. Look at this here, y'all. Look at this here. They do this every morning. Last morning, the cruise. I just showed y'all that in the. Uh, I just showed y'all that in the last in my uh, tour video. We got all this right here. Look at this here. Look at that there. They get all the animals out here. It's always the last day of the cruise. Look at that. That's amazing, huh? Yep. I don't know how much of work goes involved in doing this, y'all. There are all different kinds of animals. This is always the last day of the cruise. This is bittersweet, y'all. But you know, we're getting off the bus tomorrow. The bus. Off the ship tomorrow. So anyway, y'all, like I told y'all, it's all about eating today. So anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we are in the sea day brunch. So what's going to happen, y'all? I'm going to pull up the menu on my phone. And... Um, Two we got They're the same menu as last yesterday. I mean Tuesday or not. So anyway, we'll be back once I see what I'm on. You right, y'all. I'm back here. And I ordered the. Uh, I got me some Danish. I don't know if it's cheese Danish or whatever it is. What kind of Danish it is? And I ordered me a salmon Benedict with uh, sausage that come with hash browns and no dessert this time, y'all. Like I say, I got a lot of eating to do today, and I'm kind of pace myself because I got the rice burger. I got the Italian restaurant and the buffet for lunch, and then dinner. Of course, dinner is. Uh, I think the dinner tonight gonna be braised short ribs. I think so, and baked Alaska. I know those two things. So and fried shrimp appetite. So anyway, y'all, I will be back once my meal comes, and we'll um, see how it is. We'll be back, y'all. Right, look at this here. I told you, see Danish. Look at that. I'm bad. I'm bad, y'all. Look at that. So we're gonna see how it is. If it's good, if it's great, if it's okay. Got two nice flaky cheese bangers. Things fresh. So anyway, I'll be back once my um uh, entree gets here and this should be here in a few minutes here. So I'll be right back. Alright, y'all. There we go. Salmon Benedict. It does look pretty good. I did not know. Gonna get it. We're going to see right now. We got the money shot, y'all. Hold on. Before I log off here, we're going to see here. So they got Benedict is right. Let me put this over here. Before I log over here, y'all know how I am with my Benedict here. Let's see if we got the, we have the money shot like I need here. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
So anyway, we're going to dig into this thing here. And we're going to uh, see how it tastes. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I made it to the pasta station right before. I, yeah, that's no problem. Right before I, uh, you know how it works. Take the paper. Depending on what you want on the pasta. And they send it to you. So, yeah. So, I ordered some uh, linguine, alfredo, half a portion, and lasagna. Y'all know I'm hooked on lasagna. So, anyway, I'll be back once my food gets here. Y'all, I got my lasagna here, but I don't have my pasta yet. So... This stuff is amazing, y'all. I'm telling you, when I get back off my cruise, I'm going to perfect this uh, vegetable lasagna. So, anyway, I'll be back once I finish this and once I get my lasagna. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I finished my lasagna. I'm going to tell y'all about the lasagna. The lasagna is amazing. So I got my linguine with Alfredo. So, we're going to check this out, y'all, and I'm going to let you know how it is. All right, y'all. Now I'm out on the legal deck. It's kind of hanging out out here. Um, I'm going to get over this copyright music. And uh, everybody's out here sunny. Y'all know me. I ain't my thing. The sun and tan. That ain't me. So, yeah. My thing is all people watch on the shade. But getting out there in that hot sun, I'm already black enough. So, <laughs> anyway, my next adventure, y'all, I'm stuck on... What is that? Six Guys Burgers? And there might be this left on Six Guys Burger. I might try to eat one more. I know I'm not going to break my record of eight. So I might eat another one before the day is over. That's the last day. before They close at 6 o'clock. So I might get another one before 6 o'clock. So anyway, I'll be back if I do. If not, it'll probably be dinner time unless I find something else in the rest of the car. We'll be back. <laughs> can see the water on me but this is the last day last dinner day here at the sapphire uh restaurant so i will be ordering the fried shrimp for appetizers go up here y'all can't see this but i'm gonna be ordering the fried shrimp braised short rib and baked the lobster for dessert that's what i'm gonna eat that's what i got last time i know the baked alaska on the last day so, yep, you know, the menu changes every night. So, yep. So, anyway, I will be back, y'all, once I get my first course. I'll be back. Thank you. As well, tonight, I have another person come to visit us. He is in charge of the entire food operation area preparations. Please welcome our executive chef, John, right in the middle as well. Thank you. Chef John, along with his culinary team behind the scene, has been preparing exotic meals for the entire voyage. Please, in one voice, let him know how much you all enjoy Food on Board Carnival Breeze! <laughs> Thank you. As well, as I pass by the tables, a lot of queries asking how do we recognize the team members? We stand in here, 
from talking. We hate to see you go and say goodbye. Goodbye. We have done our best. So you disclose we have danced for you. Did you smile? Already we're so lonesome we could cry. So wait me and smile me. Tell me that you'll be back for me. Hold me like you never let me go. You leave me all a bunch of we want to see you back again. We hate to let you go. Every ship you can, we think of you. Every song we sing, we sing for you. When you come back, we want to serve you again. So let me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll be back for me. Hold me like you've never let me go. You leave with all conscious. We want to see you back again. Leave with all conscious. We want to see you back again. Thank you. All right, y'all. We got my uh, shrimp. This is good. I had this last year. I think I had the same exact entree. Just uh, an appetizer entree and dessert is last year. The shrimp, fried shrimp, beef short ribs, and the bacon last year. I think that's exactly what I had last year. But I know this is going to be good. I know this is going to be good, y'all. So, anyway, I will come back once I get my short ribs. All right, y'all. Short ribs are here. Got the little rotten potatoes there, green beans, and the short rib there. This is good. This is good comfort food here, huh, y'all? What do you think? Good comfort food at right? its best right here. Most definitely. So anyway, we kissing and my dessert is nice. Last dessert of the trip. We'll be back. All right, y'all. I got my dessert here. Make the last one. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. And that's the final dessert. We got chocolate ice cream, but strawberry and vanilla. Guess which one I'm not gonna eat, y'all. Guess which one out of the three I'm not gonna eat. But anyway, I'll be back to tell y'all how this meal was. An amazing audience all through Salama, right? I'm actually surprised that there's so many of you here having gone through five long days of drinking tequila in Cozumel and Progresso. How's the liver? Anybody check on the liver? Good morning, y'all. It is <laughs> not really the last day of the cruise, but the cruise is over. We just got here in Galveston. That's Galveston right over there, and it is about, what time is it? Six o'clock. We're supposed to get off the ship by 7.30. So, yep, so we're going to get off the ship here. I might get a taco here. If not, I'll just uh, eat something when I get home. But, yeah, it's bitter, bitter, sweet. We're at home, which is good, I guess. I can go another seven days, y'all. Ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> My crew doing an awesome job outside with the videos and stuff. But, yeah, so anyway, y'all, we back home here in uh, Galveston, back home in Texas here. And I will uh, kind of give y'all nothing else to show y'all on the ship here. Uh, people up here that the suitcase is kind of ready to disembark. We got the taco station opens early today. They open at 6 o'clock. I didn't know people don't want to eat one more time before they get off the ship. I may and I may not anyway. But anyway, once I get in my vehicle on the way back to Katie, I'll give y'all a recap. And uh, and uh, I got a separate video after this one. Maybe a few days after this, I'm going to sit down and give you a whole recap of what I thought about the Carnival Breeze and the whole experience this week. And, so like always, the positive and the negative and the little, little extra points there. So anyway, I will be back once I get in my vehicle. We're welcome back to Texas. 
All right, y'all, I am back. I almost forgot to close this video out. I am back. I'm almost back to Katie. Matter of fact, I'm almost about, I think I'm about, uh, I mean, about 20 minutes from home. And I'm about 20 minutes from Galveston. So it's about a 40 minute, 35, 40 minutes. It's Saturday morning, so she ain't much traffic on the road. But I don't have the microphone on, so that's why I'm yelling. Why are you yelling? I'm yelling because I don't have my microphone on. I want y'all to hear. But anyway, awesome, awesome, awesome uh, uh, trip this week. Thanks for joining me. And I got another video coming after this one. Where I'm going to sit down and tell you my, uh, like I told you, positive and negatives of the cruise and the, and the ins and outs and uh, really everything, the adventures that I took more in detail than what I shared on the video. And I also got a, another video coming out later that just actually do a ship tour. That's all I'm doing is touring the ship early in the morning. So that's it. it's like three videos, two more after this one, y'all, on the, on the Carnival Breeze. But yeah, absolutely amazing as always. Uh, like I said, there's a lot more positive than negative, and I appreciate everybody that watched the video. Another thing, I know y'all gonna say, well, you didn't show the music. It's very little I can show y'all when it's actual, like the Celebrate part. I did a live for that, and I uh, got really, really. Uh, beat up by YouTube or that because a lot of music that's copyrighted by the artist if you put in the video YouTube will take it down or they'll make you cover up the song and it's too much uh, to deal with so I just try to stay away from that type of content and that's why you'll see a lot of food in the restaurants and little shows that's not professional artists and little things like that people get all you all you do is eat it's a food channel so most 75 80% of my content gonna be about me eating in restaurants eating food it's an old school soul food this is not a cruise this is not a cruise channel this is not a travel channel it's a food channel so most of you gonna see on here is about food so i had so much fun y'all and like i tell people don't tell me you can't go by yourself and have the fun of your life there's a lot of other people single people that have i have absolutely amazing time y'all i mean this is one of the best weeks of my life really have i have absolutely amazing and it was nobody else around uh joining me on the trip but me so yeah no i have to the good thing about the real positive about traveling alone y'all you ain't gotta be dictated okay we're going to here no i don't want to go there well let's go here i don't eat that i don't want to... i don't have to deal with that i'll go eat what i want to eat i leave when i want to eat i go here when i want to go here i go there when i want to go there ain't no ain't no uh, no kind of uh confrontation or nothing so i love it Thanks for joining me, y'all. On to my next trip next month. And y'all know me. I go somewhere every month, and I got a big surprise for y'all in the month of June. So y'all sit back and watch this one. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Oh, 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 oh. before I close this video out. Oh, a shout out. I don't know who this couple was. Um, it was a couple. Well, the, well, the husband come up to me. I'll tell you specifically where it was, and I'm gonna give a shout out to these people because I wasn't able to take a picture with them. We was at the Kieranay with Lawrence in the Ovation Theater. This gentleman come up to me and asked was our old school software. I said yes. He said him and his wife watched me. Could they take a picture with me when it was when I leave out? Now I, they also had bingo after the uh, q and I didn't stay around for the bingo. I left after the Q&A to go eat lunch at the Italian. I assume I didn't know where he was sitting, him and his wife. I kind of stood up and looked, and nobody, I, I didn't know. So I left out. I'm hoping they don't think I left out and not want to take If you see me anywhere, not even on the cruise, anywhere, I say this all the time, if he wanted to take a picture with me, he could have done that. Because he said, I specifically said he watched my oxtail video. He liked my oxtail video. If y'all see me, I say this all the time. If you see me anywhere out, I don't care if I'm eating alone with friends or whatever, come and interrupt me. I do not care. I'm never too busy. I tell these people. I'm never too busy to stand up and take a picture because I like to put the face to my family member. I'm like that. I'm very, very honest what I'm telling y'all. I don't care where I am, where I am. If you want me to take a selfie or take a picture with me, I will more than, more than welcome to acknowledge that. Because y'all are the reason I do what I do. Y'all are the reason. So, yeah. So, anyway, I just want to give a shout out to the individual, him and his wife. I, I, I hate I wouldn't, couldn't meet your wife and take a picture with y'all. 
but maybe I'll see y'all again somewhere. I don't know. I wasn't able to ask where y'all was from, from Texas or some other. I met people from all over the United States, of course. So anyway, I just want to let y'all know I'm really, really sorry. I couldn't take a picture with it all. But if you see me again in the world, whatever, do not hesitate. I could have took a picture with you right then about you when you said with your wife. So I figured you wanted you and your wife with the picture too. So I just wanted to uh, 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 say that before I forgot. Shout out also to uh, the uh, uh, food, uh, what do you call it, the greeter in the restaurant, Vanessa. Vanessa went above and beyond uh, what she's supposed to do to make me feel welcome every time I went to eat at the Italian restaurant or to the dinner at night. She knew me by face and she went over and above the, uh, the uh, job to what she was doing. Um, and she also was interested in becoming a content creator. I told her, just follow my page, email me, call me or whatever. Anybody want to be a content creator, I'll give you all the advice that I can and what, what worked for me. So shout out to you, Vanessa, the greeter there at the, uh, at the restaurant, uh, Sapphire, and then the Italian restaurant there. I really, really enjoyed the week. And also, I cannot close out without uh, uh, showing my appreciation to my server. Uh, my server. My food, uh, uh, I'm going to put a picture up there. I cannot think of his name, y'all. I'm going to put a picture up. It'll be in the beginning and end of the video. My cabin steward, who's absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm going to put his name up here in the, in the uh, box here, y'all. So, Because he definitely had my room. He knew, asked when I was supposed to clean my room. And I told him every day it was clean when I got back. And y'all know I do my old people now. And when I got back twelve after 12, between 12 and 2 and 2, 12 and 3, I'm doing my old people now. My room was already made up where I can get in there and close that blind down and take me a two or three hour nap. It was absolutely amazing. He was always smiling and stuff like that. Just like I always calling me by name. So really, I really appreciate him too. So anyway, sorry for that long rambling on. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please come in, please subscribe, please follow my social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.